Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays RimWorld. Let me get the game going on here. Go, run off, do your things. What are we looking at today? Well, we need power. We need a lot of fucking power. Now you're playing with power, Nintendo power. Brought to you by the fine folks at Nint. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not sport. I'm not, you know, sponsoring Nintendo whatsoever. Pretty sure Nintendo doesn't even know I exist. If they did, they would have answered my uh, letters a long time ago when I was a little kid. I would send my letters to Nintendo Power and be like, Hey, um, Ninja Gaiden 1 is my favorite game. Can you publish my letter and let everybody know? And my letter never got published. And Now, fuck that, alright? So, Nintendo, you can go F yourself. I apologize. Don't, don't F yourself. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm just, you know, diarrhea of the mouth. I'm a tough guy, but in reality, I'm just a pussycat. So, ignore that. So, we need power, though. A lot of power right now. We have some beds being built over here for some of the new colonists going on, though. So what I need to do is actually start setting up. I found it here the other day. It was production, right? So we need some laser drills to start doing their magic for us. Now, remember, laser drills are the center, right? So if you want to set up a geothermal and have area around it, this would not work. Well, actually, it could, but I need to mine that rock out, which is not a bad, not a bad deal. So let's actually connect it like so, right? And then we'll have... This will be the edge right here, so we want to have them connected to one another, so the next one should be over here. However, we will be needing a power conduit for that, so for now, let's actually go and add a power conduit. Like So now you're probably wondering, Falcon, don't you need power to power these things up, and don't you like have no power right now? You're right. You're absolutely right. So what I will be doing for the meantime is actually just adding some power, um, some solar generators like this. I'm not a big fan of it, right? Believe me. But, um, I do understand that they are actually needed for now, so we're gonna have to roll it this way. Again, I'm not a big fan of it, but, you know, just bear with me while we try to, at the very least, try to bring our power situation up and running. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but we will get it up and running soon enough, I hopefully gotta imagine. You know what I could do for now, even since, you know, we're not using them? And that's what I used to do beforehand. I'm not sure nowadays I apparently forgot about being, you know, power conservative. Now I don't give a shit anymore, apparently. But we should be actually turning off turrets if we're not using them, instead of having them on 24-7. As you can see already, it's already helping out a little bit of a degree. So again, our battery situation, that's what usually happens when you're expanding. Usually you will lose a lot of power before you actually get more. So I knew what I was getting into, so it's not a big deal. Oh, we actually got Christopher's sword though. So Christopher, he's already sleeping here too. Um, Christopher's sword, welcome aboard my friend. He's a good grower, and a good shooter, and good in melee. Alright, not bad. Not a bad guy. So, again, this makes it a lot easier for me. So, Christopher's sword? Let's go to the max. Oh, the mechs reset their things again, huh? Eh, it doesn't matter. Keep them at four. He doesn't give a shit anyway. So, Christopher's sword, let's make you that, and turn you off of doctoring. You'll be a grower, and repairing zero hunting. Zero crafting zero. Not zero. We'll do like a two over here. Alrighty. Um... Construction is a really big important part of what we're doing right now in the colony, so we need a lot of constructing as a matter of fact. So we're going to turn this into a 1 and a 1 for him, and the same thing for Anderson Pena. I know there's a lot of 1s and people usually yell at me when I have a lot of 1s going on because it's like, Falcon, they're conflicting with their job, they don't know what to do, yada yada yada. So I understand that, but we'll do this uh, this way right now because um, I feel even though those people that I had 1s in mining aren't mining, so they're going to obviously go construct. Maybe it'll kind of speed up the process a little bit of a degree. And our power is completely out, but that is because it is nighttime. So now that the sun's up and running, the solar generator should have started increasing. Oh yeah, look at that power supply going back up. Alright, that's what I'm talking about, man. And then the laser drills will do their thing soon enough. Uh, we gotta get them built first and foremost. That's a good thing that we had that, um, remember then when that crash pod landed and it dropped uranium for us? That was a good thing because it gave us a chance to actually build this along with some of the weapons. Speaking of this over here, weapons, um, that's a good question. That's a good, actually, idea. I've been building up the metal bars for what? Well, let's actually make some weapons. So, this, oh god, I'm a fucking fool. I built this and never gave it a goddamn bill. Ah. Uh, this is the type of game that you guys are, this is the type of gameplay you're already used to me by this point, though, so. Apologies for that. Um, alrighty, so, no, no, we don't want to smelt the metal bars, we want to smelt metal to make metal bars, and, uh, we'll do this forever as well. Batman forever. And do that right there, already good. Or no one lives forever, whichever one you, whichever one you approve of, uh... Is no, I think no one lives forever is obviously significantly better than Batman forever. Now, I'm saying that as a big Batman fan, believe me, I am. But let's be serious, are Batman forever and Batman and Robin? These fucking movies were terrible, man. <laughs> Don't tell me otherwise. So, um, over here, this is for the regular guns, right? 
I think we have Anathera as a good crafter, so he could probably... Or she or he, depends on what their colony in the sec- what their sex in the colony is. They could build for us um, some light machine guns, I gotta imagine. Or miniguns, I should say. Crafting six is minimum requirement? That's sounds a little bit odd to me, but okay. Miniguns, that's exactly what we're looking for. So, um... This requires what? Smelt very large- Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. I'm a fucking imbecile. <laughs> that seemed a little bit odd to me. Uh, we need to make the weapons, not smelt the weapons. So, add a bill. Construct? Nope. How do I construct the, um, miniguns? Can I not do it anymore? So, cause this smelts the weapons, right? And this dismantles stuff, right? So we don't need that. We need to construct weapons, but I don't see the minigun. Hmm. I guess we can't anymore. That's a goddamn shame. You could do that before, right? I used to be, I used to make my own miniguns in the old colony, right? I'm not tripping balls here, right? I'm pretty sure I used to. That's really interesting. Okay, so I guess we have to go with light machine guns since, you know, we have no miniguns this time around. That's really upsetting. Alright, so let's, um, zoom out here. And this requires uranium and metal bars. Thankfully, we have both of them. Crafting 11. That's gonna be Anatera. It's gonna be Anatera's job. So, let's have them, like... Yeah, that's good. And we want to do this how many times? Well, not too many times. We'll do it probably, uh... Like five light machine guns would really work out? I think five seems like a good number, so we'll do it like five times. Alrighty, there you go. So that's been taken care of to a degree. How's our food? Oh wow, our food's down to 1400. That's really, really bad because it used to be up to almost 2000. So now it's about time that we start actually increasing our production line over here. So let's go into... Um, furniture, right? Hydroponics, hydroponics. Remember back in the days when it used to be hydrophonics? <laughs> I do. Some of you do. Uh, let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Why am I not? Oh, there it is. I used to, I gotta get so used to the fact that it's always vertical. For some reason, I'm always expecting to be horizontal like the rest of the tables. Alrighty, so what do we do here? Well, we're gonna do this and... Oh god, we can't connect it. There's no power going through there. We have to add a, little, a few more power conduits through here, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this, and we'll do this. That, 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 and that. Okay. So that'll help us out a bit. Now, I need to power those up, obviously. And I guess I could easily power that up with a few power conduits, if at the very least, if not something else. But I think power conduits would probably be the easiest thing to actually do it. So, and the sun lamp's already set up there, so I don't even have to actually add sun lamps for that one, which is the really plus part of this whole thing here. Or at least I think that's going to be the case. So, um, power conduits, we'll do it like so. And like so, and that should definitely connect the new ones that we added. Right? I see that connected, I see that connected. This one's not connected for some reason. Is it because the power conduits haven't been built yet? That could probably be it. There it is. All up and running. Good, good, good. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Alrighty. I love it. Got a good thing going on over here. Laser drills are up and running. This one isn't being powered, though. Why is that? Well, it's because, uh... Why is that? That one's not being powered either, is it? Huh. I could have sworn you guys were pow- Oh. Huh. I thought you were gonna connect get connected over here. What happened to that idea? Alrighty. You know what? Forget that idea for now. We'll just do this. I'm not a really big fan of it, but, you know, whatever. I don't really- I'm not really too bothered right now anything like that. So, we'll just do that. We'll deconstruct the power condos after we're done. My base looks, like, so fucking funky, man. Like, there's so many different colors going around. So many conduits disconnected here and there. It's, like, really fucking crazy, but whatever. I guess that's the- That's the path that we chose to live on over here. Very, uh, free, loose and goosey type of situation here. Alrighty, so let's find out what's happening down around these here parts. So we have a lot of extra rooms. We could have my people start actually mining in this area out. I don't think that's a bad idea because our power, as you can see, is actually starting to grow pretty uh, nicely now. This is fucking... Is that not connected? Are you shitting me? You're not connected? How are you not connected? Look, you're connected. I, I don't understand what this thing wants from me right now. Transmits power. I, I, what? You 
are supposed to be on right now. Why aren't you fucking on? Toggle power? How about if I do this? Like, toggle you on and on. Is that gonna trigger you? It's not triggering you at all. Now, what in the world is going on over here? Power conduit. It's connected, I mean. Oh, you're connected to this power... Well, that's just a silly decision on your part now, isn't it? I just figured out the problem. They're literally connected to this little area here, as opposed to being connected to the ones that actually have power. You know, sometimes that's RimWorld in a nutshell, though, so I can't really complain too much. Help! This is me in a nutshell. How did I get into this nutshell? Who makes a nutshell this big? Ah, uh, either way, Austin Powers, uh, comedy there. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, these are off because I did turn those off, so that's not a big deal. So, you know what we could do then? Let's actually start mining a bit. Get the rooms up and running, and I would love to set up our little assembly area. How about we do that first? Do you guys want to set up the assembly area first? I think that's a good idea. We could always mine through here anyway. Now, this is going to be a really scary project, however, because um, we're going to be mining a lot, meaning that it's going to be a lot of cave-ins if I don't, you know, kind of uh, mine around. That's what I'm trying to get at here. So, we're going to first and foremost do the whole, you know, like, connecting rooms, right? So we'll do this all the way to the edge. And then we'll do this part. Now, I'm doing this because this will make it so that we have an idea of what we've mined, and then we can kind of mine around this without worrying too much about cave right? So that's basically my train of thought for the meantime. And then we could also mine through here. And we'll do the same through all of this. Okay. <clears throat> Apologies there for my throat giving up on me. It's back, I do believe. Alright, so now they're connected. Good. Um, that was the weirdest connection fucking situation here of all time, but whatever. At least it's up and running. That's all that really matters now. What is this? Uh, hey, somebody asked. Crash landed. Who is this? Rangel, the housemate. Alrighty, Rangel. Um, do we have prison available for you? We do. Immortal Fox, do you want to, like, you know, get a better bed? You can. Let's, uh, deconstruct that bed. Go, go get a regular bed, man. Get a regular bed, I said. Okay. Doesn't want a bed, I guess. Uh, somebody has to go capture, um, ra can the... Can the mechanoid do it? <laughs> God, please let this work. Please let it work. Oh, God! He can do it! <laughs> How hilarious would that be? Would you not shit yourself? Like, if you're just kind of like, you crash landed in some fucking world, right? And you're like, passed out, like, oh God, this is it, this is the end. And then the centipede, out of fucking nowhere, comes and just rescues you. Now, you know what? This is actually really funny. However, I can't really... Can we do it? How much health? How much health do you have? Ah, uh, he should be able to get there. It's taken him a quite a bit of time. The centipedes are a little bit slow, as you can imagine, so... <laughs> He'll get there eventually. I hope Ranjo actually survives it, though. He should, right? 30... Oh, oop, oh, oh, 29? No, alright, never mind. Squirrel, you meant well. But, um, let's not have you do that. Let's have, uh, and there is actually building stuff, so bend over. Bend over, go and capture Rangel, please. <laughs> Squirrel, you meant well. You're just a little bit too slow, buddy. Maybe next time we'll have you capture somebody else nearby, okay? Don't worry, I'm not, I haven't forgotten about you yet. <laughs> Those centipedes are awesome. Oh, lord. Okay, how's the mining going on over here? Pretty good, pretty good. And the power is, you know, slowly building. Again, this will power up a lot more once we have these, uh... Geothermal set up over here. I could probably build a few more solar generators, but let's not, you know, risk it too much right now. Solar generators aren't really too, um... You know, they're always a little bit tricky, especially, you know, once you have raids come in and everything like that. Right now, like, my area for raid defending is actually really compact, so I'm not too crazy about it. I'm a little bit worried about it, as a matter of fact, so... That's the reason why. So we're gonna just hold off on that idea for a second. Our food situation, though, should... At least for the most part, it does seem to have grown, so that is a plus in our overall endeavors here. Oh, the mining's going on pretty good. We found a little bit more of a ore deposit over here too, which is always a plus, so... Hmm, should I start adding a few lamps? I kind of want to, but at the same time, our power situation isn't necessarily the best just yet. Oh, you know what else we could do? Deconstruct this table, we don't need that anymore. And, uh, you know, I don't think we're gonna need this for now. What is this? This is a stone, right? We don't need the stone one either right now. Um, we're gonna actually reconstruct them back once we have our area set up over here. But for now, the ones that are outside can kind of go away. Not that they're actually taking up, you know, valuable resource or space, but... You know, might as well just get it out of the way for now. Oh, how's our light machine guns going on? Oh, 
We have already three of them built, so that's good. So, let's actually start equipping some people. And since people are sleeping right, this is the perfect time to do it. So, let's see here. Sushi. Sushi. Shooting nine. Cult police gun? Yeah, fuck that. Sushi, go get yourself a light machine gun, my friend. Alrighty. And Phoenix. Uh, shooting five. Mad Jack, a 10. AK-47. No, I think it's pretty good with an AK-47, no? This guy, Rikaza, does not belong up here. I'm sorry, Rikaza. I mean, you're not that great of a fighter, so you have to move soon. Um, as a matter of fact, can you move now? You can. Okay. Uh, Rikaza, let me turn this bed into a military bed, or a... There you go. So you go away now. Dark Alex, let's see here. Shooting four? Huh. Dark Alex, you need to start maneuvering yourself to a new room. I'm sorry, my friend. Woodard. Woodard shooting seven. You can hang around. Desert Eagle. Hmm, that's not too bad. Shooting seven. Laser gun. Batman, go get yourself a light machine gun. I think the laser gun isn't that great, if I remember correctly. At least it, it never used to be when I used it in the past, so I'm going to go based on that. Two-Face is a good shot, if I remember correctly. Oh, almost a seven. thought he was better than that, but okay. He's got a shotgun, too. So, you know what? Let's actually forget that, and I want a little bit of range. What the hell? Oh, okay. I want a little bit of range on him, so maybe... Ooh. What the fuck's a Mossberg 500? He's gonna find out. So yeah, go equip that. Is that better than what you have? I'm not sure, but you know, might as well try it. Leon Field, I feel, is kind of outdated at this point, so... Jackie boy. It's about time you, my friend, go and grab yourself a... Light machine gun, I say. Tiny. Oh, I think Tiny's the... Yeah, shooting 10. He's got a Mauser. Which is a handgun. I'm not sure if he should probably be upgrading right now, right? Uh, ba ba. Let's get you that Mossberg. What the fuck is this? E11 Blaster? Sounds like some sort of, like, I don't know, Star Wars type of gun there. Uh, yeah, let's actually get you the Mossberg. Sounds pretty cool, so maybe it is. We'll find out. Bend over. How is your shooting capability, my friend, here? Shooting four? It's time for you to relinquish this room. And let's see, Oscar is uh, almost a 6, huh? Hmm, Glock 19, that's a terrible gun. At the very least, grab yourself this Desert Eagle. You're almost a 6, so I'll, I'll keep you there for now, but I know there's a bit more better shooters out there. You have a Pila still, huh, Evolution? Ah, uh, not too crazy about that. Grab yourself a... Hmm, grab this M1911. Alrighty, and then Harry, shooting four. Harry, you're gonna have to move, my friend. So f go find yourself another room. What about Ohm? Ohm is shooting eight, so you're you're good where you're at. Solid Snake, uh, shooting three. Alright, my friend, you have to also find yourself a new room. Rush off. At least there's a lot of extra rooms over here that I did build for that reason alone, so... Everybody could just kind of move the rooms over, and then these will be available for the better shooters. Which, by the way, we can actually find out who's a better shooter right now, too. Uh, Bendover is shooting four, Rekaza is shooting three, Anathera shooting four, Moldat's a three, Pyro's a three. Hmm. Well, we'll wait around a bit more, but I do like the system. I do love the fact that I finally figured out how to make this a little bit easier for myself. Just mil uh, just pri uh, make a bed a prisoner only, they'll run off to another room, and then we can kind of uh, unprison this area once we find the proper person that we want sleeping up here. So. That's a really good system for it, at the very least. I'm not sure if you guys have mentioned for me to do that before in the past. If you have, I'm sorry, I never read it. This is actually something that I deviated in my own mind, which, you know... I, believe me, I would give credit to whoever told me this idea, but this was something that I came up with, so I'm gonna pat myself in the back, because I normally don't come up with good ideas, and I feel this is, like, one of the few instances that I have, so... You can imagine why I'm a little bit excited about that. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're still mining away over here, which is good. So now that we've done this, um... Let's see here. How do we want to play this so that we're not in danger? Well, um, I'm going to say it'll probably be easier if we do, like, uh, we'll do one across for now, here, and here. And we'll do this like that, and... It's like that, and let's see, this other one will be kind of like roughly through this side. Again, we're going to have to mine through all this, right? But at least for now, what I'm trying to set it up is in a way that we could kind of start mining areas without causing cave-ins, and then we could just kind of put up stone blocks when needed. 
So it's a little bit of a slower process, but at the same time I'm trying to play it a little bit extra safe for one. You know what, let's actually take it all the way to the edge. No reason not to. And I'm about to break! <laughs> okay, you guys, yeah, Linkin Park. I'm not proud of that reference, by the way, but, you know, it's the only reference that I had at the moment, because, you know, you know, apparently, even though I don't like Linkin Park, but apparently, you know, I couldn't, you can't really help but not hear Linkin Park growing up, and, you know, even nowadays, they're always on the fucking radio. Not that I'm a big radio listener, but, you know, if something's popular enough with the majority of people, you're gonna hear about it, regardless of which, you know, you can't be like, oh, Linkin Park, no, I've never heard any of their songs. It's like, you have. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You have. Whether you want to hear it or not, that's a different story, I understand that. But you have heard their music. You know, begrudgingly, I understand, but you have. <laughs> so let's do this, and then we'll... It's like right about through here again, and then this through here. I have a blue note right there, I'll check it out really soon. Do that, and... I'm not sure that's even, I don't think it is, but not a big deal. New area's been revealed! Oh, hey! Geothermal! In our area of work. Hmm. I could still probably make that work. I Oh, no. It's actually a little bit too close. It's too close to the wall, and I don't want to split this up anymore. So, yeah. It's a little bit unfortunate. I guess we'll try to do something about that, but I'm not sure what we'll do about it just yet. And then we could actually mine this through here, because I want to set up the other um, stockpile room like so. So, let's do this like so. Alright. That works out for me. And there's a lot of actual metal here that we actually could collect, so it's not a bad idea. Because we're all down to 5,000, we used to have a lot more. Our food is actually still going down, as opposed to going up. That's really a bad sign. So, the other thing we should probably start doing is mining this a little bit more. Just so that we have more room to actually make some more food stockpiles over here. So we could do that. And let's do this around like this for now. I'm a little bit scary about- I'm a little bit scared about what could happen over here in terms of, uh cave -ins, so I'm being really, really cautious about how we play this part right now. Let's do it this way for now and see how that works out. And we'll do this like so. This is really terrifying what's happening over here. Now, is the hydroponics going to stay here? Are you asking me? Well, they probably will. I, I think it probably will. I mean, I want to make this a kind of like a whole kitchen area with mess hall type of thing, so I'm not sure. I guess this could just stay here, probably. Because, I mean, our stockpile is kind of complementary of this and this, so it's not... I think it's a good setup, because it's not too much of a long distance from actually run through, so... I think it probably will stay there in the long run. I want to set up, you know, proper floors for my people, too. You know, I haven't done that just yet, but, you know, I'm kind of focusing more on the mining process. I want to get the base kind of situated how I want it to look, and then we'll start kind of filling it in with nice floors, furniture, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, it'll be a little bit of time, but... Hopefully you understand why it's more important that we do- Ooh, hoo, hoo. Cave in. Scary. So, um, we have learned the wrong- the hard way that there is, uh, gonna be repercussions for our bullshit right now. So, how about for now? For now, I'm gonna leave that alone. Alright, I'm not gonna mess with that just yet. What I will do instead is actually just set up a hydrophonics basin. Where is that gonna be? It's gonna be furniture. And that's going to be production, right? So, we're going to set this up like so, so, and like so, and another one right about here. This right there. This right here. Alrighty, so, the scary part about this is I have to now mine around here, and we do know that there's going to be a cave-in because it happened here too. So, how do I avoid that? Well, that's a really, really good question. I want to say that we could probably avoid a cave-in if we mine this, but not that. Let's find out if my theory is correct here. If not, somebody's gonna die, and I apologize for whoever that is. Dark Alex, don't kill yourself or kill anybody else. Alright, nobody died. That's good. What is this? Oh yeah, well that's what happened here. I understand that. Okay, so we'll leave that alone for now. Um, I like how my people are cleaning around it too. We're just picking around. It's like, oh yeah, there's this thing over here. No big deal. <laughs> Alrighty. They're still mining across over there. No big deal. Alrighty, good, good. So, this should probably more than likely set us up with our food, I want to say. that This will be more than enough food to actually kind of supplement our living in the long run here. This needs to be built still, though, but... Um, now, we can't get back here is the problem because of this guy. 
So, how do I go about that? That's gonna be really troublesome. Hmm. I guess what I could do... Is make this like support pillar and support pillar. And then we'll take this down and put another... Um, hydroponic basin on that, right? So, here's what I'm thinking. Decon um, ignore this, right? And let's actually deconstruct this guy. Is that the right plan? Of course, is that really the plan that I want to do here? I think it is. So, we'll deconstruct this one as a matter of fact. I know that the one inside, we'll deal with this one soon. What I want to do first and foremost is do this, right? And then I will go and actually just add a... Ba -ba -ba -ba. A wooden wall right about here. And again, this is going to be just for support purpose, right? Uh, is that more than enough? I think that's more than enough. So we'll do that there and then we'll do the other one. Actually put you a little bit more centered. So let's cancel this and put a wooden wall a little bit closer. Look at that. All right. And as soon as that is built, what we can do then is actually remove these rocks, hopefully, without um, causing somebody to kind of crush themselves. And then we'll be, I think, hopefully, all right. We could deconstruct this or mine it out and then have, like, the proper passage to the area. So we'll see. We're going to keep an eye out here really first, uh, really fast before we end the episode. I know it's been running a little bit long enough, but I, I guess you guys don't mind if the episode's a bit longer than usual, right? So let's just have that go first and foremost. I want to make sure I'm going to leave the episode off on a good note. And not screw over future Falcon for once, which is always a good thing. He kind of complains a lot of here, so, you know. So, somebody build the fucking doors, please, alright? Not, not, and by the door, uh, not the doors, but build the walls. <laughs> I was gonna say, by the doors, I don't mean Jim Morrison, but whatever. Alrighty, guys, are you, oh, you're asleep. That makes perfect sense. Alright, how's the situation going over here, though? Pretty good. The mine's coming along pretty nicely in here. We do have the prop, what? Well, that's just silly on my part. <laughs> I'm sealing myself off over here. Kind of ruins the whole uh, setup that I wanted to have, like an easier pad, right? Groups of travelers are passing nearby. People are still in prison over here. Shams, what's your problem? You want to join, huh? Too good to join? Redfields hasn't even been set up for uh, recruitment. My bad, Redfields. Immortal Fox, still hanging out? Oh, well, no wonder they haven't joined. Um, alrighty. Rangel. Rangel is the people who crash along with Redfields. I gotta rename these people after this episode. I forgot to do it, I believe, so. My mistake! That's two extra renames right there, so it's always a good thing. Oh, that's actually built now. Alrighty, so. Before we call it an episode, let's find out if I mine this. Will this cause a fucking cave-in? If it does, then, you know. <laughs> oh. Uh, we'll chalk it up as a learning lesson. So, Nab is gonna do it. Oh, perfect. No cave-in. Can I now haul this off, though, is the real question. What the hell is... Collapsed rocks. Well, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of it? Haul it? No. Do I mine it? I do mine it. Alrighty. Um, will that cause a cave-in? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Maybe those rocks are the ones keeping everything together. Oh, oh, oh no cave-in. <laughs> Either way, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. We have a really good setup going on over here. I think the food will be pretty good now. Power, uh, you know, we're still hurting a bit, but as soon as the geothermals are up and running, we'll be okay. So if you guys enjoyed it so far, I will catch you next time.